MR technology is at a crossroads. There are so many people who would like to experience this, but because of certain barriers out there, we're not able to do so. My name is Paul Amadeus Lane. I'm a C6 quadriplegic, and I've been one for over 31 years. What I like about MR is that it allows me to be out of my element, something that I had no idea that was even remotely possible. My name is Michael Luckett. I am a C6 quadriplegic, and I have a lot of the hand limitations. I'm a gamer, and I was a gamer before my disability. All the games are built with the assumption that I have full function, and I did at the time. Gaming with a disability, I didn't have options to enable me to play. I felt left out. Co-design, it's really an inclusive design approach where we are inviting external people, so experts, community members, into our product development process. When we're building with communities, instead of for them, we actually are going to arrive at much better product experiences. What happens in a co-design is magic. We're watching people use our current products and really getting a first-hand understanding of their pain points. And then being able to take that and use it as fuel to build something new with them. I've been a part of a, a number of projects in the tech world. This right here, by far, was the most invigorating that I've been a part of. Meta not only talks the talk, but I'm telling you, they walk the walk too. I felt like I was heard. I didn't feel like I was some type of token person. The willingness for the product team to listen to me and take the information of my experiences, that was very valuable. Historically, we have seen that when we focus on areas that have been underserved, we end up building products that are better for everyone. In the past, when curbs were cut to help people using wheelchairs, it benefited folks who were pulling luggage, who were pushing baby strollers. MR will allow us to be a part of this immersive world where we don't have to worry about, I can't walk up those stairs, or I cannot run, or I cannot climb. And then we are able to share this, this social interaction, this being included. Right after we finish this amazing co-creation, we work with the product teams to ensure that the insights that are generated lead to actionable design changes. We are experts in building products, but we know that when their expertise comes to the table, we're able to build products that really not just work for them, but bring universal value to all of our users. One day, I would love to get to the point where there's no such thing as accessibility in design, and it's just design because it will work for everyone. And we can do that. If we build with our community, we'll be able to do that.